Okay, in this video, I'm going to do um, uh, another problem uh, of great circle distance, but in this time, we're going to be crossing the equator. So I'm going to show you how I treat that. As always, great circle distance. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Bowditch, page 612. This is Bowditch 1981, volume 2, the Bowditch that's going to be in the exam room for the U.S. Coast Guard license. And I'm going to come down here, page 612. I'm going to go find formula 36. That's the cosine D formula. And just after formula 37 are going to be the rules for 36 and 37. And this rule, if you read it, basically says that uh, latitude of the declination is treated as a negative quantity when latitudes of departure and destination are contrary. What that basically means that is if you cross the equator on your voyage, okay, you cross the equator on your voyage, L2 should be treated as a negative, okay? So what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to just uh, go back to my, my uh, the, the, the steps that I'm going to do for the problem, all right? So I'm going to do the steps, and uh, uh, here's my formula, okay? I'm going to draw a picture. I'm going to contemplate whether or not I cross the equator and address that right off the bat so I don't forget later. i got to calculate d low. I drew the picture so I could calculate d low, and then I'm going to convert L1, L2, and d low to degrees so I can stick those values, degrees, decimal degrees, uh, into these trig functions. I can't go putting minutes into those. And then I'm going to plug and chug respecting PEMDAS, okay? So, let's see here. This is L1, and the sign of that is north. And uh, here is L2, and the sign of that is south. Okay, great. Uh, and here's my longitude 1, and here is my longitude 2. So, let's start off with my little picture of longitude first, okay? So, this is the polar view, again, north pole. And here is the prime meridian. Here's the date line. And I'm going from uh, 115 east, so that's something like that, longitude 1. And I'm going to 51. Oh, so I'm going something like this, so that's longitude 2. So it's east to east. I'm actually going west, but I'm east side to east side. So this means I'm going to do, uh, when I do my D low, I'm going to do um, uh, longitude 1 minus longitude 2, okay? And that's going to give me my D low, all right? So great. Now, uh, I'm going to have to convert my L1 and my L2, okay? Now, as I'm thinking about this L2, I urge you to put a plus minus here, and I'm going to think, oh, north, south, that's minus. So I got to remember to put that minus in there, all right? So let's go with this. We got uh, 3451, 3451, uh, and I got 1016, 1016. See, so yeah, once I have this uh, plus or minus sign figured out, I don't really need the north and south anymore, okay? So I've dropped those. Uh, I mean, technically, I guess I probably should write those in, but I need those numbers to get the relationship whether I'm going to treat L2 as positive or negative. Since I already have that, I don't need to write them, okay? Uh, okay, great. And then my longitude, uh, the big one is longitude 1. That's 115. That's the one that's going to go on the top, 0, 0.1.2. And the smaller one is 0, 0.51, 42.6. Great. All right, um, so now I got to do a little bit of math here. Borrow one from 115, that'll make that 14. And then I'm going to add one over here, but that's going to be 60. So that's going to be 61.2. Okay, now, you know, if you want to, you know, you, uh, you pull your calculator out, you can go 61.2 minus uh, 42.6. And that gives you 18.6. Okay, the 18.6. And then 51, you know, you might be able to do this in your head. So as those of you, uh, I find that uh, particularly when I'm fatigued, I start to make mistakes. So I like to use the calculator so I don't, I don't make a little math. Uh, now, uh, technically this is, but I don't really need to write that down at this point because uh, I don't, uh, there's no term for East or anything like that in my, uh, fun in my formula. Okay, so what am I going to do now? Now, uh, according to my instructions, I should convert this, this, and this to degrees, decimal degrees. So 51, I'm going to take 51, I'm going to divide it by 60. And L1 is going to be 34 point, and I'm going to take this out four decimals. 51 divided by 60 equals uh, 0.85, okay? So uh, uh, since it stopped at 2, I don't need to go out more, okay? Great. So that is going to be L1, okay? L1, that's going to be an input. Now let's do L2. So it's, uh, excuse me, clear. I'm going to go um, uh, 16 divided by 60 equals, and that's 0.266. So this is going to be 10.2667, and that is negative. That's L2. Don't forget that negative. That's crucial, okay, crucial. All right, 
Uh, and then over here, D low, uh, that's going to be 63 point, And I'm going to take 18.6. All right. 18.6, 18.6 divided by 60. And that's 0.31. Okay. So only go out to, uh, since it didn't take me out four, I only went out two, but they generally take it out four. Now, this is what I'm going to want to see on your exam. Okay. When you do the exam in TNAV2. So I'm going to want to see these three numbers. Okay. Um, because that shows me that you calculated them. And I want to see them out to four decimal places. Okay. And uh, if you don't show me that, then you're not going to get credit for this problem. Okay. Great. So now I'm going to need my formula. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go back to Bowditch for a second. So I go back to Bowditch, and here it is. And there's formula, okay, 36. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start transposing that. I don't have enough room to let you see that and the other at the same time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write the formula as, it, as I'm gonna use it. So this is gonna be cosine D equals, okay, sine of L1 times the sine of L2. Now, you gotta use your parentheses, right? Plus cosine of L1, times cosine of L2 times cosine of D low. And I got to put my parentheses there, okay? So now, all I'm going to do now is, um, is I'm going to run this formula. So I'm going to go cosine D equals. So here comes my calculator. I'm going to clear, all right? And here we go, all right? So, uh, geez, I wish I had a little more. So I guess what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to hold it right like this. You want, again, you're not going to see my fingers. You're just going to see the screen of what's ha the result of my fingers pressing on the calculator. So I'm going to go sine of L1. So I'm going to put 34.85. Okay. Now I have to put a parenthesis. Okay. There's a parenthesis that the, with the calculator put in there, I have to put a parenthesis. If I don't, I'm going to have problems. Okay. Times, and I got to go sine. See, calculator made the parentheses. Now, here is where I can get screwed up. I've got to put the negative in. If I don't put the negative in, I'm going to be totally wrong. This is a danger Will Robinson moment in the problem. So minus negative 10.2667. Okay. And now this is another danger moment. I have to put the parentheses. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to, um, now I'm just going to say, hey, in the formula, I got to do this first. So now I'm just going to hit equals, okay? So there's a little bit of order of operation of stuff you got to figure out. Ooh, my beginning number is negative, okay? So this is actually negative 0.1. And if you want to, at this point, you can copy that number down onto your paper. But I'm going to, um, so really, uh, all right, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the plus button, okay? Now, I have to put a parentheses in before I do anything else because I've got to do all I got to multiply all three of these times each other. So there we go. So here we go. Ready? So this will work over here now. All right. Oh, I got a little. All right, I got to bring. Okay, that's good. Right about there. I'll put it back in the same spot. Okay, great. So now I'm going to go. Uh, I got my parentheses. I'm going to go cosine of L1, 34.85 parentheses. Okay, times cosine okay now remember i got to put a negative 10.2667 parentheses times cosine okay in this case it's 63.31 parentheses now i'm uh uh i'm going to do this just because just to keep you thinking about pemdas but i got to put this parentheses now after the whole thing but if you don't do that your calculator knows it's supposed to do that and then bang okay great so the cosine of D, okay, is 0.2609, uh, okay? And I'm going to want to see you on the exam. I'm going to want to see you write that out, okay? All right, because uh, I want to make sure that you're not just guessing what the answer is. You're going to, so most of the work is being done by the calculator, but you got to show me some intermediary steps so I understand that you understand the process and you didn't just do a lucky guess, okay? Um, on the Coast Guard exam, you can do whatever you want. And I'll show you that one other method and another video uh, uh, that you'll see here. Uh, anyway, uh, okay, great. So now, at this point, I, can, I got two choices, okay? I, got, I can bifurcate here. Uh, I can go uh, uh, D equals cosine of negative 1 of 0 0.2609, and I can plug all that stuff into my computer, uh, into my calculator. Or what I can also do is I can do this. And I'll come back and do that one in just a minute. But 
what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this uh, the um, the, uh, the quasi memory feature of this calculator. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tell the calculator, hey, yo, let's do a, 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 a inverse cosine. Okay. Now the, the calculator is saying, well, what do you want to stick in there? And I and what I want says, I want to stick in the answer that I had just had before I pressed in second cosine. And to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this second button. And then I'm going to come down here. This minus button here is also, when I press second, I get that. It's answer. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to put my finger on there. I'm going to bring it down. And when I do that, okay, it puts answer. All right. So the answer is really, it's the 0 0.2609. Now I'm just going to hit enter. And there it is. D equals 74.8. 74.8790 degrees and i'm gonna on the exam i'm gonna want to see you write that down too okay i want to see you write that down too okay and then you have to know that that's in degrees but when i say distance i want it in miles so now you got to multiply this whole thing by 60 and then d is going to be times 60 equals that's going to be 4492.7 nautical miles that's the distance by great circle sailing